Alright. Okay, we're going to make one of these for the Pete and Paul. You can see it's curved, or hopefully you can see that in the camera. Alright. So, first thing you do is beat on it. My favorite thing. This is a dead blow hammer. It doesn't bounce. And I've tried other hammers and the dead blow seems to work better for this. You start in wailing away at the center. Which gives you kind of a curve. I'm going to wail away at the other side. the cup of tea. And we had a kind of glancing blow. Okay, what that yields is kind of a rough looking bumpy little thing. And now you'll have to zoom on this. You can see it kind of made it curve upward. I don't know if you can see that in the camera or not. So anyway, now we'll do some we'll do some damage with the English wheel next, which we made out of some old parts of a motor and some other odds and ends. And what this tool does is shrink the metal on the bottom roller, and of course helps get rid of some of those hammer marks I just made. Do some more on the other side. A bit more tension. Oh, we have interference from the cat. <laughs> I have one cat that likes to come and be in the way. Well, not my damn cat. We're going to have to stop for the cat. Go ahead and stop. No? Go ahead and go? Alright. You're going to fight with a cat while I do this? Okay, now... You can see from the shrinking, see how it's got a, a curve there upward? So what we do is we put the thing in the thing upside down and work it. Maybe a little less tension. And work it and that will flatten it back out. Let's work this side too since I'm here. crown there, still a little crown there, so we'll do some more. Uh, the English wheel, or English roller, or whatever you want to call it, is capable of making all sorts of good shapes in the hands of someone who's skilled. We'll be lucky to get through it, but uh, it's a thing that takes a little patience, and I think Bernie probably would have used something like this if he'd had it. I tried this with a leather shot bag and it did sort of work, but this is faster and easier. There we go. Check it again. I can see we're getting a little warping going on there. Oh, we'll just work her down a little more on that side. I'm going to hammer this sucker again. Let's see if this gets rid of the cat. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay, you got some, you can feel lumps and bumps too. I'm hitting it a glancing blow. Alrighty, here we go again. Back in the wheel again. I made this wheel by hacking an old motor apart and the bottom roller is the uh, end bell of the motor sawed all the bits off of it and stuck it in the lathe and made it roughly the right shape it needs to be a pretty aggressive v-shape to work with these little bitty pieces of metal so if you buy a roller you know you're supposed to they're supposed to all be polished and perfect and all that okay once again got the got the big wowie there where it's Sticking up, so more of this to work that out. You can actually feel this to kind of make a sweet spot when you're working it. And one advantage of using the wheel is you can, where the uh, tabs are going to be bent, it's still straight. Okay, still not quite there yet. I'll just kind of take it out and look at it and do it some more. A bit more pressure there. Yeah, the bottom of the wheel is just some square stock tubing. And I found a piece of uh, square shafting, basically, square bar stock. Ran a couple of weld beads up it to keep the slack out of right there so it doesn't walk too much. And of course, I read online about a guy used a steering shaft out of one of these little part cycle cars everybody drives.